seated, and Anbox have taken control of it. Sentinels, they much rather would play a bit more passive. You see Sinatra holding this angle with a frenzy. It's kind of the dynamic duo with him, if you would. What he's going to do here, probably toss out those paint shells as soon as he hears or sees contact being made, and they're sick of waiting on the site as well to provide a nice necessary bit of crossfire. Push comes in though, and box, they need to move quick right now, and I think that's exactly what they're going to do. There it is, Android pushes in, finds the opening kill. This is huge now for the attack inside him. Yeah, what well, was traded back in that wall is absolutely separate on this side as a nice tag comes through Dapper with the spray down, not even killing the one tag. enemy remaining. Target first, she's able to find a fourth. One tag. enemy remaining. He's still alive. Finally, Android sits him down. Now, 30 seconds left. Line kick things off earlier here in the round up towards mid. Got a nice little dink. I believe onto Sinatra up towards heaven and forced him back. It allowed that B take to come through. Now spike in hand and 26 HP, not able to close it out. It is Zoms and. I'm not exactly sure if they're going to walk into this trap, but no, they seem poised on the Ooh. idea. The boy finds the opening track, but he needs to actually do a little bit more here. Shazam, it's not going to be the case. He gets two before he eventually falls, but it's still only a three versus three. Sentinels are keeping even so far, but this next track needs to go their way, or else everything just might go wrong. There it is. Blue appears in the kill feed, and it's all going the way of Sentinels as they close it out. Two players. But that bad boy can really be hit or miss. We're about to see it is going to be missed. The flash goes out. Android to open things up. Upgrades the gun from the pistol to the phantom. As Sinatra trades one back, Poach goes down. So no utility from the Viper. And the most unfortunate, the team has stormed the site. But the spike is down and in the crossfire here. As Sentinels are able to lock this one down. Slow Orb going to go through. Sick picks up one. Looking for some more as he swings around the Battle Sage. Coming out on top in this round. Boy with the close corners. This is such a bad spot to be. You have to retrieve the spike. And there is a lot of time. But I don't know if it's enough to pick this up. 3v3. Nobody actively peeking. As I say that, though, Sinatra on the backside. Able to find one. Make it another. That's three on the round. That's Sheesh. four on the round. Sentinels. One still on the site here. And Omen gonna be holding it down. Six still up in heaven. Left. They're hearing the footsteps, and they're just gonna spray them oh. down. Three kills to come through. Sick once more with a double kill. The battle sage and poach, who is trying to buy the attention, unfortunately, needs to buy a lifeline. Needs to buy something. Buy somebody in. Now a 1v5, 14 seconds. A fifth round to Sentinels. Ten seconds left. And Anbox, not only their map pick, but they got a win on it yesterday. So they might have been feeling hot coming out of this one, but. Once more, Sentinels, they go back to their winning ways on this map. And I guess your consolation prize here in round number five, Poach, if you are going to look to play this one out and win out defensively. Well, you can always see a comeback happen. Six to six would be the best possible case scenario right now. But Sentinels are just playing this in a textbook fashion. They are systematically destroying Anbox right now as the score is looking more and more grim as time goes by. They just cannot come out on top of almost any fight. There's a rare example where it actually does go their way. Boy, who I pointed out as being a solid factor for Anbox, gets one towards them, towards themselves, excuse me. Despite not in their grasp once more, because once again, Sentinels have had such a strong read on it. The cross on 13, it's all played out. And Sentinels have that playbook. They oh, know exactly no. what Anbox is doing, and again, they just run right into all the damage. Sinatra picks up a few, make it a third. It's another eco round. It's the spike down, the oh, kills to come through, and Seb. Natural through? No. They're going to do it completely differently. They're going to path over towards heaven, try to take advantage of that, but guess who's waiting there? It's Shazam. He's more than ready in this sort of scenario, and this is those protocols from Sentinels really coming into play. Shazam is not done, though. He's peeking from an entirely new angle. Three kills, three different places. This man is all over the place. This map is his. When does it stop? When does it stop? Going right here, and you need to be wary. That operator is Satchel. here. Satchel charge on. That is the stinger in the hands of Android. Now gonna try and get close quarters here. Finds the dink, but the shots are just landing for Sentinels and everybody like, coming online. They were looking for a team ace. It's gonna be one of the more important Ace's rounds, says that Boombot. It's a bit of help from the Satchel charge. Now the B-Second is going through the wall. There we go. The flashes come out. Dapper finds one, but Boy trades it back. Oh, no. Not a bad try there, but Sinatra goes to the one showstopper. Looking to find the 11th round is Sinatra here. Three kills with one on the horizon. It's Android to try and trade it back in a 1v4, but it's Sinatra on the flank. The paint shells one way. Yeah, the classic. 
Now trying to peek it down. Sentinels looking to just run right at the wall here. Stick into the program. Is that Sage Wall going to get a bit of denial on an angle? Out from that omen, boy. Not going to find too much. Not going to have that shrouded step either. The B site has been conceded, but it's still a 5v4. Make it a 5v3 as the Sentinels all start, start to fall here on this B site. Anbox trying to close it out. As I say it, though, things get a bit dicey as Zom finds... Low you move, but you have to keep moving forward, and that's exactly what ABX are doing right now. Another kill in their favor. Shazam on the flank, and finally, maybe... Bit of a read from Anbox. Something has to go their way. Surely they don't get stopped by this flank and they won't. There's nothing at all that can be done on the flank and finally it's something there and that's exactly looking like the game plan. This fight could be dropped though. Down onto Ramp. Huge. Down remaining. two. Holding down Heaven and Seb is there to back him up. It's all up to Sick. Needs to frag out here for his team should they want to push to match point. But it's looking like Anbox to find a fourth and to continue battling back. One wow. kill come through, but it's poached to sit him down in the trolley out range. It's real RNG. It's it's really uh real fishy if it does pay off. But an ult onto the back of the side. Now things are getting a bit dicey. Boy put in a bad spot as the smokes come through. There's the wall going up and Zal's not spotted out in the back. We'll find that kill. Dapper coming up through mid, able to find the flank and the neural theft. The ultimates that were available are starting to pay off. And there is the resurrection. Sick goes back to pick up his fallen member. They should be able to pick up a couple guns on this site as well as Android tries to hold it down. Rolling Thunder comes through. He's but the not even available, but Sinatra sits him down with the paint shell. Grenade greater than rocket they launcher here in this game. Clutch. But you're right, they're running out of time. Stay out of my wow, way. a very... Sentinels in this round, however, have completely changed up the pace. Yeah. Just when I was talking about how amazing their last round was, they've completely switched everything up, flipped the script, and now they're playing a completely different sort of game. Spike planted, and a whole nother round in for Anbox to deal with. All 10 members still alive here on Split. Sinatra low on HP, so maybe not long for this world as Sick was forced to use that barrier orb to get away from the snake bite. Now we'll see if he can get much more. Nope, it's gonna be the Cyphers to trade a couple of kills back and forth. Sev on low, huge. He will eventually fall. Now Sinatra hanging on, has that rocket fuse ticking down, needs to use that ultimate if he's going to. 32 HP, gonna fire that one out. Not gonna get too much. And the spike just ticking down. It looks like Ambox are okay to let this one go by the wayside. One enemy remaining. That's gonna be match point here. That is a. They're definitely struggling to close this one out, but it's like I said before. They are just one round away from being able to completely snatch us away, bring us onto map two with a map in their favor. Sentinels once again look to move quickly, but an awkward exchange in the smoke. They're going to be kissing through it, and unfortunately, Seb will get the killing blow. Of course, Poach tries to appear from the rafters, but you have to think at the same time. Sentinels right now, they're struggling. You can see the panic in their faces and the way they move their mouths. This could go either way still, Tanner. It's looking to go the way of B site as they storm onto A. Things kind of go a little sour. Oh, now they're looking no. to rotate back towards heaven, out into vents, and back towards B. If anybody could do it, it is sick and dapper in a 2v3 to try and close things out in an box. Looking to do their due diligence to slowly creep back through this spawn. Going to clear out all the angles, and they surely will hear this spike go down. Now, importantly, sick only having the That's heal big. available. Ooh, Dapper with the first pick and to stop things. Coming up from the spawn, now backs away into heaven. And you have to be wary about where this Cypher is playing, especially when he's looking to get that aggressive. It's looking to be the back of the site, though. A lot of utility so here for Android as they stack up into the back. Android and Boy coming on through. This is the life on the line here for game one. It's planted out for B main. You have to assume... They're playing out that way. He's going to push through the smoke. The spray down comes through. Dapper finds one. Now needs to find another. He's healing up. Boy going to push on through. Finds the first kill. Needs to keep the tournament life alive. He's not going to do it here. It's game one to Sentinels. 13 to 8 on split. Prize pool where all of these teams have in the money. Playing for either that $1,000 8th place prize or that $25,000 first place prize. Once we get there to the close qualifiers. Now it is going to be that quick B hit with on the but he comes through the spawn but spike planted and have that in the paint shells get you know, actually quite a bit of utility there and box wow striking is huge here two quick kills to come on through but the spike has since been planted yay doing his due diligence here to make sure that no nano swarms on the spike and somehow missed shot dapper comes out on, on top has a bit of decay 
Dapper will be able to heal that one back up and through wow. the smoke. Dapper just having fun with it. Sick to close it out and it free of charge. And Ito, it's the classic eco stack. Let's stack one site, play tight corners, and hope they come this way. And you know, as is tradition, they don't go that way. They go to the opposite site. Now we get to see kind of a silly retake here. Is all fiber stacked up, just pushing on through and. Zoms might just have a heyday here with the Bulldog in hand. Only goes good for one. Does get a little scary now as that's going to be a rifle in the hands of Anbox as they look to push up. Shazam holding this one. Sick on a tight angle as well. Ghost goes good for one. Maybe looking for a second. He hears the reload. He's going to push him on in. Find another. They're just closing it out here. Sentinel. Time Tanner. And nothing really to stop that lockdown from coming through. So everybody gonna be forced away. Sam just looking to eat it there. The eco round. One detain comes through. I believe they were able to walk away. Shazam finds Poach on the flank. Boy able to pick one up on the way out. So forced up a ghost here and is just trying to do some damage to the economy and is doing just that. Can he find himself a weapon? Paranoia in hand. Able to use that shrouded step into the dark cover. Oh. Does still have the flash available. Finds another kill in Anbox. They're looking to do something spicy here. Oh. Is Android from downtown. The ultimate to come through. The showstopper. Looking to lock it down here. There's Last no way in for standing. Sick. He's not going to toss it out. He's going to get shot down. He comes off the spike, but yay. Pocha set down his wall. These are exactly, you know, these are the adaptations that Anbox need to make, and they're doing them. Already a bit fruitful as they've picked up Dapper to start things out. And actually, Android on the other side of the map, I think, found another. There's a strike back from Sentinels, but it has been relatively muted. They still stay a player down, Sentinels and Box in the lead. Got one. Seb, Hatches Sinatra look in the opposite direction. And in a 3v2, and Box looks to pick up another round. Now, a lot of utility out of the way is that Killjoy is dead and Shazam. Gonna take the aggressive beat out towards the spawn. Oh, what He's gonna angle. get taken down off the op and he didn't even expect it. It's all up to Zom, so has to try and clutch it out. Picks up one of three. Needs to find another couple. Is that Boombot not gonna get the value that they were hoping for? He has paranoia. He's come through. Does have full utility and able to pick up another Zom's looking for a 4K shroud and oh, no. away. No! He oh. loses out, but he still gets it! Shadows traveling. But it's scary when you know Sick does have that Hunter's Fury available. And what's even scarier, Sinatra finding a kill onto your raise. And Box down a member here, so things aren't necessarily swinging their way. And the Viper all out towards mid doesn't get a whole lot of value. I'm not too sure how much Sentinels were banking on being able to play up towards tube as Sinatra can't be stopped. As I say it, though, Seb gonna well, sit him down. Wall. Now the spike planted. Everybody from Sentinels playing off of this one. It's been pinged out. The nano swarms have been used. Full utility just about here for Zoms. And Sam from downtown is able to find a kill through the wall here. The Viper screen working against them. And unboxing about having not only sick on your team, but turn. that Hunter Shuri available. Seb somehow gets a third kill. It's going to be traded back. Sinatra goes aggressive, but will fall. But from downtown Shazam, still holding things down with that operator. And now a 2v2. The spike is dropped on the site. So for now, and box are in the driver's seat. They are in control. They're going to do even more. They're going to take a man advantage and close it out. A third round to Anbox to pick up the orb and coming right back. So Sentinels holding fast here, trying to take this B site. Smokes go out. Shazam. Trying to block things out. From the shadows goes through. We're not going to get a lot of value. Get so much info, but it doesn't matter. Seb to find Zoms. There's the satchel. Then you talked about the showstopper. Nope. And Sinatra is here and he's not going to play. Two kills to the raise. Shazam to get the spike down. Make it a third. And Sinatra, the man of the hour here, trying to get the better half of remaining. this half. He finally will fall, and it's all up to Shazam in a 1v2. Low HP, and Poach is sitting on the Viper's pit. Shazam has the clock in his favor, can work with the spike, and we'll see what is going to be assumed. The tap onto the spike. The spike oh! Come through, and Shazam to close it out. Sentinels oh, wow. grab seven rounds. About the minute mark, and that will prompt Anbox to start pushing in, because it is a 5v5, and the first person who finds that frag gets it in their favor. That, of course, is going to be Boyd. But that dart comes oh, online, God. and Play all the standing. kills might come online as well. Sinatra out of nowhere fights for. It was a nice little, uh, oh, nice little one up here in this pistol round. For now, 
And Ambox continues to try to innovate. The Viper Ball brought into play is going to be good to find Shazam on the entry. And that will now let them embark onto the A site without many further issues. There is one kill from Zom with a frenzy, but he's quickly dispatched up without any further issues. Sentinels down 4v2 need to pull off a miracle of a post plant, but they don't have a lot of utility to work with. They have the time, but do they exactly have the space? Paint shells are available here for Anbox. Napper looking to get aggressive. Okay, paint shells no longer available. Xandroid goes down, and now you don't really have to worry about it. Oh, there's the Nano Swarm to try and stop things for now. Sick balls, only 35 HP was the Sova. Now 18 on a Dapper, and he's running out of time. He's just got to send it some way, somehow, in a 1v3. He's got to get three kills and find a defuse, but the clock is ticking down, and he's just going to try to find a way to pad the stats. On the way out. Nope, he will die. Boy will go down, and thankfully, considering this upward momentum, this upward trajectory that we're on, I don't think it's all too unreasonable wow. to expect it to happen again, and that's the start that you need if you want to make it happen. Sick is down, no darts in play, and now there's going to be no nano storms in play because Dapper has gone down as well. Engineer killed. Sinatra still alive though, planted. and still has that pop off factor for the Sentinel squad, and then a 2v4. Definitely feels like Sentinels have an extra man. Able to find a tag onto Boy, who's able to creep away for now. And they could just play the spike, so not a bad place to be. You don't have to re-peek that, especially when Sinatra's feeling as hot as he is. Trying to pick all the gunfights in the world. And that Viper Wall doing a pretty good Paranoia. job of clearing things out. Full utility onto Zombs. As he tosses it out, there's the snake bite, though. So that's going to delay the defuse for a moment longer. And Poach might just have another one, so... They gotta send it to him. Zom <laughs> through the box, finds the kill, and Sentinels on their first rifle are gonna have to try and escape here. Satchel to get away, and Sinatra will stay alive as we're there now. No shots to come on through. Nothing early to stop that one. All 10 members still alive here on Icebox. And Marshall, it's a, it's a loud one. That, <laughs> that gun is the loud one as those shots. Come on through. They're just sending them from downtown, trying to find anything they can. Sentinels are going to have to pull the trigger here soon, and it's looking like Sinatra trying to do just that. Nice paint shells back towards nice. yellow. Three members going to be there. Boy, going to find the first kill. The Satchels put him in a bad spot. Now Android trying to answer back through the smoke. They go, and the kill feed is all red. As it's Anbox to look to close this one out. Sick grabs one, but Anbox, five to one. Is 30 seconds left. Now we're starting to see the plays being made in his face is yay, but Shazam sits him down. Seb's able to trade back for two, and Anbox in the driver's seat. One player up, OHP on Android, puts him in a precarious spot. He is on the flank, though, and hopefully he can do a better job than Poach in the last six to drop down. Nano Swarm trying to push him away. It's an alarm bomb makes him vulnerable. It is. He gets absolutely melted. The Anbox tried to exploit it. Oh, absolutely not. And, and I think, if not a little bit more emphasis towards mid, maybe give Shazam an extra hand because that operator you gets put run. in a really weird spot once you're taking shots and have to reload. You need to try and get out of dodge, and Icebox doesn't necessarily allow for that. Now we do get nice to see that lockdown come through, but Shazam, operator no more. It only takes one knife to sit down the imposter. Everybody from Sentinel stacked up towards this A site. It's another hit to come through from Anbox. And they just have to oh. get out of dog. The skill on the Sinatra is huge. Zom That's huge. Another, but Ambox are battling back. They back away from the spike. They give up the plant. They play for the gunfights. And they are just online. Now Zom. Spike planted. Trying to do the unthinkable. It's low HP on one. The Viper's Pit available. This would be the first lead for Ambox. Should they find this round win. But can Zom's close it out with 71 oh, HP? Fight. Low HP on Android. The kill not going to come through. Zombs will have another buy in them, but we're not going to be seeing it okay. nearly as flashy as some of these other rounds have been because of the lack of ultimates in play. What you're again, excuse me, instead going to see is a bit of a contact play off of this drone. Sinatra has switched up his approach over towards B, and this time has brought verticality as a factor. Okay. And thing is, although we're talking about verticality, everything seems to be on an upwards trajectory as Sinatra is single handedly putting. Sentinels on his back. 11 rounds is seeming more and more possible, more and more palatable as time goes by. 
Oh. It's against Sinatra, man. Yeah. Be there, and he gets a huge kill. Now Zom's looking for a good one, but Shazam gonna take it away from him. As that Nano Swarm not gonna get popped. He gets taken it down, so Zom's gonna be able to hold into his position. Able to use that shrouded step should he get into trouble, and Shazam just holding it down. Now this time around, where Zom's is playing, oh my goodness, Shazam just cannot be stopped here. They don't even get the sight line of the sight, and they're already dead. Beautiful round already, but it's not over yet. A 3v5 for them to overcome. And this is what I like seeing. Antbox once again having a bit more of an emphasis on towards mid. Win. But Sentinels, they have learned their lesson, and he does the 360 for... Now Antbox on match point. It's all or nothing here. Sure, they qualify. But where will they be seated? Can they put themselves up in the running? Is that finds that first kill? They expect the Doms to be there. They find another. Sinatra will fall. Trading a kill onto Boy. There's the Hunter Fury to come on through, and he's gonna find the kill. The spike does go down. He might find another one. No, the dash away. Sick. One with the ultimate. As Android trades it back on the flank. Now they have to be wary. Yay comes online as well, and Sick will fall. No three. And the knives, the blade storm right behind it. That's gonna be their engine to push. Tanner, this is when all hell will break loose. Shazam was looking for something spicy on the way out. The A-Site completely taken. Poach looking to be on the flank once more. Sinatra gonna try again. Toss out the ultimate. Goes good for one. Seb goes down, but he's gonna trade it back. Sick able to help his fallen teammate and picks up another. He's usually good for a multi-kill. When he grabs one, he grabs two, and he's going to do just that. Now Poach trying to link up with his squad. The fuse coming on through. Sick finds a 3 He will fall, but it's all That's down it. to Zombs. Sentinels will close it out, and in 2-0 fashion, they will grab this win in the quarterfinals. Unbelievable theatrics at the end. Sentinels putting on one amazing show. You have to respect.